Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Marty. I'm chair of the Standards and Ethics Committee. I've been joined by my colleagues, Council Members Coswitz, Gibson, and Chin. Today, the Committee on Standards and Ethics met an executive session on an open matter concerning Council Member Barry Grudenchik. At our last meeting on this matter on April 29, 2019, the Committee issued formal disciplinary charges against Council Member Grudenchik in connection with evidence that he engaged in sexual harassment against a City Council staff member and scheduled a disciplinary hearing to commence yesterday, May 13, 2019. During the past two weeks, the Special Counsel hired by the City Council for this proceeding has conducted additional investigation and preparation for the hearing. On Friday, May 10, 2019, Councilmember Grudenchik's Council contacted Committee staff to say that the Councilmember no longer wished to contest the charges against him and would like to resolve the matter without a formal hearing. We then decided to delay the hearing one day to explore whether a resolution that was in the best interest of the Council was possible. Because the Special Counsel informed us that the case against Council Member Grudenchik is strong and the violations of Council policy are serious, the Committee can only forego the hearing if Council Member Grudenchik agreed to terms in line with what the Committee was likely to recommend imposing at the conclusion of the hearing. An important consideration about whether to proceed with the hearing was also the impact the hearing process would have, the many, have on the many witnesses against Council Member Grudenchik, especially the staff for whom the Council Member harassed. I am pleased to now say that in consultation with the complainant and the special counsel, the committee, by unanimous vote, has reached a resolution with the council member that we believe is in the best interest of the city council, its members and staff, and most importantly, the complainant in this case. Council member Grudenchik has fully admitted to paying unwelcome and inappropriate attention to a female staffer because of her gender. He has expressed remorse for causing the staffer harm because of her gender and a desire to change his behavior. He will be making a public statement shortly that admits to all the charges against him. The charges include discrimination against and harassment of a female staffer involving paying unwelcome and inappropriate attention to the staffer regularly for over a year, blowing a kiss at her and only her during a professional meeting, hugging and kissing her and only her in a way that caused her embarrassment and left her to avoid attending meetings and council business conducted at City Hall. The charges against Councilmember Grudenchik, which he admits to in full, will be posted on the Council website in connection with today's meeting. In recognition of, the, of his violating Council policy, Councilmember Grudenchik has agreed to voluntarily resign as Chair of the Committee on Parks and Recreation. He has also agreed to participate in a specialized sexual harassment training at his own expense. The specific training will be selected by me and must be completed within 30 days after selection. This committee takes violations of the Council's anti-discrimination and harassment policy, including sexual harassment, very seriously and will not tolerate the type of behavior that Council Member Grudenchik engaged in. We believe the consequences here are fair and appropriate and reflect the values of the City Council. With that said, I'm going to invite Council Member Grudenchik to come in and turn the floor over to him once he comes in. Councilmember, welcome, thank you, and whenever you're ready. Oh, now it is. Uh, I hereby fully acknowledge and accept the allegations specified in paragraphs 4 through 11 of the charges brought by the Committee on Standards and Ethics. I admit that I engaged in conduct set forth in the charges in violation of the New York City Charter, Section 45, the Council's anti-discrimination and harassment policy in Council Rule 10.80. My public statement of April 4, 2019, which was made prior to my having reviewed or been made fully aware, I'm sorry, been made aware of the full charges, did not fully or accurately reflect my conduct. I understand that my actions caused the Council staff member to suffer embarrassment, stress, and discomfort, and, dis and emotional distress, and that her work environment was adversely and negatively affected. I am deeply sorry for my conduct and for any harm suffered by the council staff member as a result of my conduct. I have committed to attending sexual harassment training at my own cost in order to make sure that I do not violate council policy again and do not make anyone else feel uncomfortable on the basis of their gender in the workplace. I also, as a result of my conduct and voluntarily resigning my chairmanship of the Committee on Parks and Recreation. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember. 
I am uh, now going to make a motion to hold this matter in abeyance pending Council Member Grudenchik's completion of the training. Do I have a second? Second. Recognize a second from Margaret Chin. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 The ayes have it. Uh, before adjourning, I would like to remind the public that members of the committee are bound by a confidentiality agreement not to discuss this matter any further. And with that, I'm adjourning today's hearing. Thank you.